Hello everybody and welcome to episode 22 of the Pal World series. And in today's episode, I want to ride this damn van worm. So I'm going to set my Petalia to craft that saddle. See if I have anything I need to repair. I had quite a little tirade, the adventure in the previous episode. Oh yeah, I also replaced all my monkeys with robin quills, which means they're probably a lot more effective. How's this look over here? Flower being made? Good stuff. Paldium? I'll take it. A lot of great things happening here. Also, I'm pretty sure I got more wheat seeds, which means I should be able to make a second wheat plantation, I believe? I just have to get this damn penguin out of my way. What are you looking at me like that for? Move. Think you're funny? Just put it right here, in with the rest of them. Now I know it's a little messy. Oh yeah, that's right. I have an entire base of crafters, so this will happen in an instant. I don't even have to be involved, but that's okay. I'll just make it more entertaining by messing with them while they try to do their work. Now we have a second wheat plantation, which is going to be good. I want to upgrade from just having berries. How's this looking? We need more effigies. Let's take a peek at the food over here. We have 800 berries now. We could use more wheat, that's for sure. But that's what that second plantation is for. Bars, can we, we could do another one. I mean, it wouldn't hurt, would it? This is basically my primary food base, after all. But you know what? We'll try a third one, and if it seems like it's stopping them from doing the rest of their work, then we'll just remove it. We can just get these damn tombats out of here. There you go. They'll get in my way. Let's collect that flower that was over here. Like so. Cancel what we have here. And set it to craft more. That's the entire point of this particular resource, anyway. That's been taken care of. Oh, I can't put flower in the food thing. I have to put it somewhere else. Oh, being raided by Syndicate Elites. Is squeezy? Also, I just took cold damage. <laughs> Why does that keep happening? Um, well, I get this unusual feeling that they're just going to bug out because I'm on a elevated surface. But we'll see. But right down this way, like usual, down where the Capriti's in this little river tend to lie. Syndicate Elites, level 23. Interesting. Let's try to hit them with a power bomb now that they're all grouped up. Just. Oh, <laughs> damn. Nice. One of them seems to have dropped a pal soul over here. Nice. Guess we'll just slowly eliminate them from behind. We know we're gonna see them just derp out until they reach the dungeon, so I might as well. <laughs> this deer is helping me, just pinning these two over here. Makes things easier for me. Hey, they're dropping ammo. I can always use that. This one's called a Syndicate Cleaner. Hey, Squeezy? What is that on his back? Is that <laughs> Hold on, what does he have? So, oh, he's got like a flamethrower or something. What the hell? Oh, nice, I rooted him. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill all of them, just because they're so tanky, or because my bird is weak. One of the two. That's why I want to upgrade to that van worm. I get the feeling it's going to be better for combat. It might even be faster than my Nightwing. Ugh, I can certainly hope so. This bird is slow. Off to the doggo. Accidental bar. Oh yeah, this is much better. This is speed. He also hits way harder than the bird does. Like, palpably harder. Oh, they've... <laughs> They've reversed the train. Now they're going away. Very strange. There we go. Three down. More free ammo. The ammo type that they give is kind of mixed together. Some shotgun, some assault rifle, some... I think it was called Course was one of the other options. Very strange. Let's go ahead and fly ourselves back up into the base and dismount. Oh, you can dismount your bird from the air. That's good. Let's see, the saddle is done. Get the Battaglia out so it'll do something at the base. But now we have a Van Worm saddle. We'll have to see how good this thing is in combat. It's still my lowest level creature at 23. Everything else being around 27. Let's go ahead and collect this ore and put it in a container. Oh, damn, I'm heavy. These Tombats are wonderful at breaking down the ore and the Pen Kings. But they seem to be very bad at transporting it. God, I'm just walking so slow. I'll make it there one day. I swear. One day. Here we are. Finally. That only took an eternity. Something was hitting a tree over here. Why? <laughs> I don't know why that would happen. That should probably do. Want to have this queued up at all times while away from the base. I don't know why I crouched there. Just because it's wasteful to have the R socks here doing nothing. I guess it's our usual episodic taking down of this tree that seems to want to respawn in my base every time that I start the world. Damn thing. Always getting in my way. Let's go ahead and figure out what this egg has in store. Large common egg? A Lunaris. Lunaris. 
Hmm. Well, let's put the scorching egg in there for now. It's only seven minutes. Might be done before the episode is up. Definitely should be. Now then, what is a Lunaris? Let's go figure that out real quick. Go to the end here. Right here. Let's see. Three crap. Wait. Three crafting? Then one gardening and one transporting. I don't care about those, but three crafting. Well, it's while in team, Lunaris manipulates gravity, increasing the player's max carry capacity. Okay, this is going in my party. I don't need the T-Fat anymore. Lunaris it is. Never looked at the Catrice's abilities. When fighting together, neutral pals drop more items when defeated. Hmm, that's pretty good. Very interesting. I think right now, I want to hop on the Van Worm and see how fast it is. Let's see, sprinting like this appears to be, I think, a little bit faster than the Nightwing. We could do a little race. We'll go to the top here instead of the bottom. From this end to the other end of the base. Starting now one two three four basically four seconds and then if we throw the night wing out do the same general idea one two three four five okay it's a little bit faster but barely like hardly noticeably but it's still something we'll try to ride around on that primarily so that it'll get more xp than the rest so, for the time being, we are Van Worm Riders. Now then, if I remember correctly, yes, there was a boss up here called War Sect from the previous episode, and I want to know what it's all about. But first, we have creatures over here. Gobfins. Wait, I haven't even checked my abilities. Let's try left click. It appears to be a single fire projectile. Okay, that bursts into multiple smaller projectiles. This is a bad matchup because I'm fire type here. Ignis Blast, let's try that. Okay, that's just your standard projectile. Ouch, okay, okay, dismount. Pull it away. This was a bad typing. Let's go ahead and hop on the dog, I guess. Ouch. Ouch. You know what? Let's go ahead and let the dog just fight for itself. It seems pretty good at it. I'll be fine just tanking over here. I think these guys are mostly just messing us up so bad because it's in a group. Oops, try to catch that one. No, I don't want to use my big spheres. Crap. <laughs> I think I might have to pull the dog away and try something else. Battalia. There we go. That should be a good typing. Try to catch this thing, I guess. These things are messing me up. Ouch. Okay, we're gonna try to catch this one. Just let Battalia keep fighting over there. Once her health gets low enough, I'll just pull her back. Damn it. They always come out of the spheres and just start running in random directions. Oh, we got two shakes. That thing's ours now. Hooray. Let's go ahead and help the Battalia over here. I just want to have at least one of everything. Although that thing's almost down, so I might as well try to catch it. Might as well. Uh-oh, she's about to pick a fight with the rest of that crowd. I don't think we can handle that, Battalia. You probably shouldn't. But you really shouldn't. Oh no, she did. Okay, let's see what the Lunaris can do in combat. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling. And the Lunaris got deleted immediately. Let's go ahead and get out of here. This has gotten pure chaos. Understood. I thought these would be weak because there was just... Okay, pull the dog back in. I thought these things would be weak because they're small and, well, their their name kind of has goblin in it. It looks like the people who created this were definitely fans of Goblin Slayer because you pay a price if you underestimate these things. Jesus, they're just chasing me down and I can't hop on my tames. Let's just go in this boss arena. <laughs> the hell those things were buff now uh, watch it buddy yeah i'll be fine if i just stay behind these pillars okay i guess we're fighting a boss now we literally got shoved into this room because we decided to pick a fight with some goblins never underestimate goblins Oy. see if the van worm can take any hits from this thing it is a different typing after all fire versus what earth or grass he can take a hit or two most likely he's actually doing all right Ouch. I'm okay if the boss pays attention to me instead of him, because he's seemingly pretty plushy. Probably just hits hard at the higher levels. But we're doing alright so far. This is definitely going to have to be a battle of attrition. Oh, he's almost down. Yeah. Talia out. Definitely a battle of attrition. We're going to have to keep switching the pals out and pew-pewing until the entire fight is over. Uh-oh. He's going to do the yet yeah, the gavel thing. Here, Talia, come over here and heal me. Thanks. Appreciate it. It's a pretty convenient ability. Having this battalion on your team is uh, very useful. Being able to have one of your pals just come up and heal you for 400 health is pretty nice. And if I were to condense other battalions into it, it would probably heal by even more health. 
because that makes their ability stronger. It's too bad I didn't get to see what the Lunaris could actually do as it got immediately wasted by a horde of goblins. Yep, keep paying attention to me while the Petalia just kind of does damage to you. I've got plenty of bolts this time. Here comes the Gadling thing, yeah. Why does every boss seem to have an ability like that? He's also got this neat little charge here. Seems fitting for a rhino beetle type thing. Oop, I definitely took that hit. And that one. Yikes. I think I'm gonna have to pull the Petalia in now. She's kind of getting wasted. We'll roll away from here and Nightwing, see how he does. Oop, gotta prioritize not getting hit. Oh, this could hurt. I'm tied down, I'm tied down. Oop, oh yeah, that took half my health. Still tied down. Yep, get him, Nightwing. I couldn't do anything. Gotta be careful about getting hit with that green attack. The wind blade looking thing. Cause that hurt. A lot. <laughs> Nightwing's putting in work. Just going hard. It's cause I set him up to have just the two quick attacks, and when the AI is operating it, it just doesn't take time in between. Ouch, 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 ouch. That only hurts a lot if you stay within range of it. Just a lot. This is pretty doable. Although I think I'm gonna, yeah, let's switch out for the Dire Howl now, since Nightwing is kind of getting murked. If I let it focus my pals, it does a lot of damage to them. On the plus side, the pals do plenty of damage to him too. I don't do that much. So roll through this, Dark Souls style, and just make some more distance. Ooh, big old rock. I mean, the Dire Howl does pretty well in combat too. Both the Dire Howl and the Nightwing Kind of do a lot of like little pinging attacks, but they're just non-stop damaging him. So it's kind of like sustained DPS. The Petalia seems to use mostly slower recovery moves, so it's kind of burst damage. Okay, his health is getting low again. Oop, watch out for that. As soon as the Dire Howl takes another hit, I'll switch it out for the Van Worm. Just running at me aggressively. Yeah, here comes the Gathering attack. Uh, you know what, that, that counts enough. Let's get the Van Worm out. Ouch. Rolled at the wrong time there. Well, the Van Worm has the proper typing, but he's six levels lower than this thing, so he's doing poor damage. John hit me with that Gatling again? He just used that. I find it weird that the wild creatures appear to be capable of just spamming the same moves in quick succession. That's where I personally cannot, or I can't have my team do it. Alright, Van Worm's about to get wasted. Go, Petalia. She's not gonna be out for too long, as he's almost down below 100 health, which, once that happens, I'm gonna have to pull everyone back and just focus on catching him. I get the feeling I won't be able to use normal spheres against him, so I probably should have crafted some others. Uh, let's pull the Petalia away. Just do what I can with this. Dodge out of the way. One more body shot. One more, -er -er. there we go. Let's see if a normal sphere will do it. 1%, oh no. I'm not sure I have the patience for that. Ooh. <laughs> I can't even have a guaranteed chance of catching him when I throw these. All right, we'll try these, ouch. We'll try these green ones that I picked up, 5%. This guy is way tougher than the rest of them. Well, after we run through the green ones, I'm hoping we have enough of the higher tier ones. I think they're called Hyper. Oh, we just got him with a green one. Hooray. <laughs> awesome. Well, we got more of those uh, ancient technology points down here in the purple tree. We could just learn everything here. Grappling gun? Why not? I don't see myself using it too much. Another grappling gun. A bigger feed bag. Hmm. Probably holds two different kinds of food. Hip lantern, that could be convenient. A large feed bag? Okay, just skip an entire tier. Oh, I'm out of points. Well, that's fine. Let's go. I really wasn't planning on fighting this thing, but those goblins forced me into the arena. Oh, look, a green sphere on the outside. Sweet. Let's go ahead and not ever mess with those goblins again. Not even once. I mean, I might come back at some point when I'm much stronger and much tankier. Do myself a favor and catch ten of them, because, well, you want to do that with everything here. But, oh, what is that? Gory rat. Gory rat. It's a weird name. Oh, looks like it's one of the kind of creatures that just aggros immediately. Crack open this chest and, I guess, pick a fight with it, since it's picking a fight with me. Ouch. Luckily, it's just the one. Just keep hitting it for now. 
And that should probably do. It's almost dead. We'll try the normal spheres. It's only level 23. So yeah, we can catch it with these. This is why I want more of those lift monk effigies. Oh, we caught it with the first try. Nice. Oh, they give leather and bones. That's good. We need those. That means I want to catch this one too. A little sneak attack aroni. But I got that triple hit thing again. That's convenient. Just hope it doesn't do it with this last hit here. Right there. Okay, he's just barely alive. So, off to catching time. <laughs> These blue spheres are just so free that it feels wrong to use anything beside them. Besides them. Come on, buddy. Stay in the sphere. You and I are gonna be friends. Maybe. Probably not, honestly. I'm gonna just keep you in my pal sphere. Pal deck? Whatever. The pal box, that's what it is. I just want the leather and bones. I guess the XP bonus is pretty nice too. Basically, I just want all the benefits of catching you, but I don't actually want you. <laughs> Probably. You might actually have some good abilities or something. Not that I would know. I haven't seen one of these yet, and there we go. Now we have two of them. Go us. I'm starting to think it would be a good idea to start killing things. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I got paralyzed by <laughs> one of these guys. What the hell? They have like paralyzing crossbow bolts or something? It seems like it. I guess you can get crossbow- oh yeah, you can get fire and poison one, so I guess that makes sense. That's annoying, the fact that they can stun me. It's not for too long, but I don't like being just stuck in place too much. I guess it's my fault for getting hit. By auto-aim AI. Ouch. Well, I wasn't expecting that to be anywhere near as difficult as it was, but as I was saying, I think it'd be a good idea to start just randomly defeating enemies as I come across them, because I need to level up my team. I'm level 29, they're all level 28 and below, I believe, let me check. 28 for the dog, 29 for Petalia, 28 for the bird, and the others are all quite a bit weaker. Speaking of which, my Lunaris is wasted, and my dog is close behind. More of these pal alliance nerds. Let's go ahead and get off the dog. Ouch, damn. This poison, or paralysis thing is annoying. Let's try the C ability. Oh, it's a fire breath, neat. Okay, that left click, the spitfire or whatever, seems kind of bad. Let's try it from a distance, maybe? Like this? Okay. So if you can hit from a distance, it's not too bad. Let's try that breath again. If I could just stop getting paralyzed. Man, these guys suck. At least in groups they do. It's a nuisance. Yikes. Van Worm's almost wasted, too. Let's get the Battalio out and just start using my crossbow. Ouch. I wonder if they can paralyze me as the player, or if it's just pals. They could probably paralyze me too. I don't know why they wouldn't. Yeah, there goes my Battalia getting stunned. It'd be messed up if they could steal my pal. <laughs> Let's try to catch this guy. No, oh, he's too high level? That's nah, fine. I didn't want him anyway. Let's get this guy in the head. Nice. That's a good bit of damage, honestly. Yeah, they mostly drop coins and arrows. It's not a bad thing, per se. It's just not amazing. I see a pal soul over here, so of course I have to go get it. It's gonna be a good idea to stockpile these. Hell Zephyr. Hell Zephyr. Another soul. You know, that makes me curious, actually. I should have learned the saddle for the Hell Zephyr, and I should look around for it. Here, saddle, saddle, saddle. Probably higher in levels. Defensive wall. I don't know if I'll be using this. Production assembly line. Didn't I need this? I think so. I'll just learn it now. Hell Zephyr. Oh, it's, uh, it's a ways away. I'm level 29. You need to be level 33 just to make a saddle for this thing. Or that thing that in the distance. So I guess I'll be passing on that for now. Ooh, a Mosenda. Mosenda. And an egg, I think. Is that an egg up here? I think so. Let's get a torch out. Let's see if I can walk my way up here or jump aggressively. Oh, I got up there once. Here we go again. Oh, that's a sphere, not an egg. Well, we've got ourselves a new creature. Gotta try and catch it, don't we? Let's get the crossbow out just so we can add in a little extra damage. Get a nice little combo going. Sneak attack damage was nice. Oh, he's almost down already. And normal sphere. 2%. Amazing. What if I shoot him once? Right there. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, when he came out of the sphere, he was like floating. Like like this. You see that? Maybe he's got like a gliding ability or something. Maybe because of the leaf on his head. I don't think we're going to get it any lower or higher than 3% catch rate. So we'll just do this and watch him aggressively T-pose on the way down every time he bursts out. What a G. <laughs> <laughs> Just the T-posing. That's pretty intense. 
This actually reminds me, I'm getting a little low on arrows. I should head back to the ranch base and collect whatever the Vixies have produced for arrows. I'm not too worried about the PAL spheres. I'm basically considering that an infinite resource at this point. Now there's one shake, never mind. I gotta stop getting my hopes up off the first shake there. Just wait for two. God, <laughs> he's being brought so high up. Alright, this has been going on for a while. Let's try the green spheres. Here we are, 10%. That's not bad. We'll try all of these first. This guy's harder to catch than it seems. Perhaps he's actually useful. We'll see. We only have three green spheres left. Two. One more to go until we move on to the hyperspheres. Gigaspheres, whatever. One shake and two shake. Amazing. Now, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Now we can head our way back to that teleporter. Then head back to the base and see what a Mosshenda does. More bees. Nope, don't self-destruct on me. I'm not interested. I, I I don't want it. Leave me alone, kamikaze bees. Oh god, goblins. Go away from the goblins. Go around the goblins. Don't piss off the goblins. Go home. Go home. There we go. Apparently if you put markers too close to your teleport places, there's a chance that you'll accidentally select the markers instead of your base. Let's see what a Mosshenda is. Mosshenda? Oh, we got a Gorat too. And the Warsec. Warsec. Hard armor. When fighting together, increases players' defense and reduces damage received from fire. Interesting. That explains why the Van Worm wasn't doing too much damage. Good abilities, surprisingly. Really good at woodcutting and some other stuff. Gorat. Two woodcutting, one crafting, three transportation. When his ability is activated, unleash a Primal Fury that increases Gorat's attack power. Neat. And last is Mosenda. Two planting, two crafting, two woodcutting, and three transportation. What? That's really good. What the hell? It's kind of like the Robin Quill. Actually, the Robin Quill only has one woodcutting. Grenadier Panda. Can be ridden, can rapidly fire a grenade launcher while mounted. Okay, we need to craft one of those ASAP. Also, we need to put that Lunaris in here, so I guess we'll trade that out for the Mosenda for a bit. Or the War Sect, really. This just seems stronger. But, this has been episode 22 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.